നമസ്കാരം ഇൻ ദിസ് മോഡ്യൂൾ വി വിൽ ഡിസ്കസ് ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് ഓർഡിനറി ഡിഫറെൻഷ്യൽ ഇക്വേഷൻസ് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ്സ് സൊല്യൂഷൻസ് ഫസ്റ്റ് വി ആർ ഗോയിൻ ടു ഡിസ്കസ് അബൌട്ട് സെക്കൻഡ് ഓർഡർ ലീനിയർ ഓർഡിനറി ഡിഫറെൻഷ്യൽ ഇക്വേഷൻ ദിസ് ഈസ് ദ ജനറൽ ഫോം ഓഫ് സെക്കൻഡ് ഓർഡർ ലീനിയർ ഓർഡിനറി ഡിഫറെൻഷ്യൽ ഇക്വേഷൻ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് വൈ ഡബിൾ ഡാഷ് പ്ലസ് പി ഓഫ് എക്സ് ഇൻ ടു വൈ ഡാഷ് പ്ലസ് ക്യു ഓഫ് എക്സ് ഇൻ ടു വൈ ഈക്വൽ ടു ആർ ഓഫ് എക്സ് വേർ ദിസ് പി ഓഫ് എക്സ് ക്യു ഓഫ് എക്സ് ആൻഡ് ആർ ഓഫ് എക്സ് ആർ ഫംഗ്ഷൻസ് ഓഫ് എക്സ് ഓക്കെ മേ ബി കോൺസെപ്റ്റ്സ് മേ ബി നമ്പേഴ്സ് ഓക്കെ ദെൻ വി ഹാവ് ടു ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് ഡിഫറെൻഷ്യൽ ഇക്വേഷൻസ് വൺ ഈസ് ഹോമോജീനിയസ് ഹോമോജീനിയസ് മീൻസ് ദിസ് റൈറ്റ് ആൻഡ് സൈഡ് ഇസ് സീറോ ഇഫ് ആർ ഓഫ് എക്സ് ഈക്വൽ സീറോ സച്ച് ഡിഫറെൻഷ്യൽ ഇക്വേഷൻസ് ആർ കാൾഡ് ഹോമോജീനിയസ് ഡിഫറെൻഷ്യൽ ഇക്വേഷൻ and second one is non homogeneous yes naturally if r of x is non zero if right hand side is non zero such differential equations are called non homogeneous okay for example uh, y double consider this example y double dash plus sin x into y dash plus 2y equal to x square it is clear that here here this is our r of x and it is clear that this is non zero so this is an example of non homogeneous ordinary differential equation okay and what about p and q yes in this case p of x is nothing it is sin x and what about q of x q of x is 2 okay so that's why uh, so q may be constant that number number that is possible okay so uh, that's the idea and uh, this is an example of homogeneous differential equation why because here right hand side is zero so here r of x equal to 0 that's why uh, this is homogeneous okay and here what about p and q yes p is 10 and what about q q is 0 okay q equal to 0 so this is p and q equal to 0 the coefficient of y double dash should be 1 this is the standard form this is the standard form of second order uh, linear order differential equation okay if it is non zero then we have to divide throughout this equation with the, the coefficient of y double dash okay and we then then this become uh, our normal form okay next we are going to discuss about superposition principle of solutions of a homogeneous differential equation okay for example before going to the concept uh, first of all we are first we consider an example okay so we consider this differential equation y double dash minus y equal to 0 it is clear that this is a homogeneous differential equation because the right hand side is zero and this is of the form or uh, y double dash plus p of x into y dash plus q of x into y equal to 0 what is p and q yes here p equal to 0 the coefficient of y dash is 0 and what about q q is minus 1 okay and r is in, yeah of course r equal to 0 anyway this is a homogeneous differential equation we consider a set of solutions okay later we will see how to find the solutions uh, this time you just uh, we just consider these two solutions here this y1 equal to e raised to x and y2 equal to e raised to minus x both are solutions of this differential equation okay you can easily verify for example you consider y1 and uh, what about uh, uh, y1 dash again e raised to x what about y1 double dash again e raised to x It, then you substitute all these values on this differential equation you plug all these values in the left side and what happen y double dash of x is equal to e raised to x so left lhs become lhs become e raised to x minus what is our y that is our y1 y1 is e raised to x so that is equal to 0 that means this y1 satisfies this differential equation that means y1 double dash minus minus y1 equal to 0 that's why y1 is a solution of this differential equation similarly you can easily verify that y2 also satisfies this differential equation that means y2 sorry y2 double dash minus y2 equal to 0 okay so you can easily verify that this y1 and y2 both are the both are the solutions of this differential equation okay next we consider some special cases consider the second case what about second case y is equal to y is equal to 3 e raised to x minus e raised to minus x is it a solution yes this also a solution you can verify that this function satisfies this differential equation you simply find y dash what is y dash that is 3 e raised to x 
plus e raised to minus x and about y double dash that is equal to again 3 e raised to x minus e raised to minus x. Then you substitute all these values on the left side. What, hap what happened? It is clear that here y double dash and y both are same. This is 3 e raised to minus x minus e raised to minus x. This is also 3 e raised to x minus e raised to minus x. So there are difference is zero. So it is clear that this also satisfies this different differential equation. Okay. So you consider one more. Similarly, you can easily verify that this also satisfies this differential equation. So what is common? What is common in these two solutions? Yeah, this is the property. We can write this solution as 3 times y1 plus minus 1 times y2. What about this one? This is also almost like this. Only difference is their coefficients. Instead of 3, it is 1. Instead of minus 1, this is 1. Okay. So there is a concept like some constant into function plus other constant into some function. Okay. So naturally there is a question, if y1 and y2 are solutions, then this is it a, is this c1 y1 plus c2 y2 is also a solution or not. Okay. So first of all, we are going to define a new term that is called a linear combination. Let y1 and y2 be two functions, J uh, need not be solutions, in general they are functions. To define this linear combination, this y1 and y2 are two functions. Okay, maybe solutions, no problem. Then this term c1 y1 plus c2 y2 is called a linear combination of y1 and y2 where c1 and c2 are numbers they are arbitrary numbers you can choose any numbers okay c1 may be 3 c2 may be minus 1 and c1 may be 5 c2 may be 10 whatever be no problem c1 and c2 are numbers that's all okay this type of functions are called a linear combination of y1 and y2 naturally there is a question is it a solution of a differential equation. If y1 and y2 are solutions of a differential equation, then this linear combination is also a solution or not. Okay, that is our question. Okay, that question is addressed by our next result. I'm not going to do, I'm not going to prove this result. It's a, actually it's a very simple, easy to prove, but I'm not going to uh, prove this result. The linear combination of two solutions of a homogeneous linear ordinary differential equation is again a solution. Okay, this is very important. It should be homogeneous. Okay, so if y1 and y2 are two solutions of a homogeneous linear ODE, then their linear combination is also a solution. You got it? That means in our last example, uh, y, this is our example y double dash minus y equal to 0. It is clear that it is a linear homogeneous differential equation. And also we know that this y1 and y2 are solutions. Then by this result, what happened? All the linear combinations of this y1 and this y1 and y2 is also a solution. That means c1 e raised to x plus c2 e raised to minus x is also a solution for any c1 and c2. You can choose any c1 and c2. Only thing is there, there should be numbers. Okay, for example, 7 e raised to x minus 10 e raised to minus x. If you choose c1 as 7 and c2 as minus 10, then uh, we have a solution. Okay, so that is the importance of uh, linear homogeneous differential equations. If, if we have two solutions, then there all the linear combinations is also a solution. It's very interesting. Okay. Okay. So this result is uh, applicable only when homogeneous and linear. So we can't avoid these two uh, conditions. For example, we consider a nonlinear example. We consider a nonlinear example y double dash y minus x y dash equal to 0. It is clear that it is nonlinear. Okay, because when we try to convert this as a uh, 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 standard form, what happens? If you divide this expression with y, then this become y double dash minus x by y y dash equal to 0. So this is not allowed. In our uh, standard form, uh, this p should be function of x alone. Okay, this is some x by y minus x by y. So this is not a uh, our standard form that is this is not a linear uh, differential equation. So this is a non-linear differential equation. Of course it is homogeneous because the right hand side is zero. So anyway it's a non-linear equation. And also you can verify that uh, you can easily verify that these two are the solutions of this differential equation. Okay. For example you consider one. Suppose you choose y as one then what happened? 
uh, when we plug uh, what about y, da y dash and y double dash yes both are zero so this is zero times something minus x into zero so zero so it is clear that one satisfies this differential equation similarly you can easily verify that x score is also satisfies this, this differential equation okay for example you consider what is for example you take our uh, y as x square then what is y dash y dash is equal to 2x and what about y double dash that's equal to then you plug in all these values in this differential lss then what happened y double dash become 2 times what is our y 2x square minus x into what is our y dash that is 2x yes this is 2x square minus 2x square that is equal to 0 so it is clear that this x square and, and 1 are the solutions of this nonlinear homogeneous differential equation okay that means this differential equation violates this condition this is not linear okay so the it 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 doesn't satisfy this theorem okay that means we can easily verify that minus x square what is minus x square is it a linear combination of these two solution yes minus x square is a solution a linear combination of these two solution what is c1 and what is c2 for getting minus x square from these two solutions yes if you choose c1 as minus 1 and c2 as 0 then minus x square is a linear combination of these two similarly what about c1 and c2 for this linear combination yes c1 equal to 1 and c2 equal to 1 if you choose c1 equal to 1 and c2 equal to 1 then uh, we get this linear combination but both are not a solution of this differential equation okay to verify this you take this as y then find y dash and y double dash plug all these values check whether it is zero or not if it is zero then solution actually they are not equal to zero so they are not solution okay so the, they are linear combinations of these two solutions but it, they are not solutions of this differential equation why because this is not a linear body so in general uh, this result is valid only for homogeneous linear OD. Okay. And what about this case? Homogeneous. That is also, uh, that is also, we can't avoid this condition homogeneous because we can say another example. We can't avoid this condition because uh, here this 1 plus cos x and 1 plus sin x are solutions of this differential equation. We can easily verify this. For example, for first one, you take y as 1 plus cos x, you take the y dash and y double dash and plug all these values on this expression on the left side then we will get 1 okay that's why this satisfies this differential equation similarly this also satisfies this differential equation okay so both the uh, function satisfies this differential equation but in general their linear combination need not be a solution of this differential equation because this is not a homogeneous differential equation for example you consider 2 times 1 plus cos x this is not a solution you can verify it why uh, is it a linear combination of these two yes what is the value of c1 and c2 for getting this uh, linear combination yes c1 equal to 2 and c2 equal to 0 and what about this combination what about c1 and c2 yes if you choose c1 as 1 and c2 equal to 1 if you choose both are 1 then we get this linear combination you can easily verify that both are not a solution of this differential equation okay this is solution only when uh, lhs is one okay after simplification so that's why these two conditions are not uh, avoid avoid we, we can't avoid these two conditions okay uh, next we are going to define a concept basis or fundamental solution a pair of solutions y1 comma y2 of a homogeneous differential equation like this is called a basis if they are not proportional that's all okay they, a pair of solutions is said to be basis if they are not proportional they are not proportional means what suppose we have solutions y1 and y2 and they, it is a basis only when they are not proportional they are not proportional means y1 by y2 Suppose y1 by y2 equal to a constant, that means they are proportional. Suppose this is equal to 3, that means they are proportional. y1 equal to 3 times y2, that means y1 is proportional to y2. Okay, so 
ratio equal to a constant, then that means they are proportional. Otherwise, they are not proportional. Okay. Or simply say that one of them is not a multiple of other. One of them is not a scalar multiple of other. Scalar means number. Okay. If one of them is not a scalar multiple of other, then we can say that they are not proportional. Okay. For example, uh, okay, we consider an example. Yes, this one. We know that e raised to x and e raised to minus x is a basis for this differential equation. Already we have seen that both are satisfies this differential equations. Okay. So we have a pair. Next one, we have to check whether they are proportional or not. That means they are scalar multiple of other or not. Scalar means number a number into something, number into this function. Okay, it is clear that they are not proportional because e raised to x by e raised to minus x. This is not a number. Why? This is equal to e raised to x into e raised to x. That is equal to e raised to 2x. This is not a number. Okay, so this, this pair is a basis for this differential equations because already they are, they are solutions and they are not proportional. One of them is not a multiple of other. So, uh, the basis. What about this pair? Is it a basis? No. But they are solutions. We know that e raised to x and any multiple of this e raised to x is also a solution. So this pair is a solution of this differential equation, but not a basis because they are proportional. One of them is a scalar multiple of other. Scalar means number. Okay, it is clear. So for example, you consider this as y1 and this are y2 and what happened? It is clear that y2 equal to 3 times y1. So one of them is a multiple of other. Or you can write y1 is equal to 1 by 3 times y2. Anyway, one of them is multiple of other. So they are proportional. So they are not basis. Okay, that's the idea. Okay, next we consider an Another definition that is called a general solution. If we consider a pair y1, y2 is a basis, this pair is a basis for a homogeneous differential equation like this, then the solutions of this form, it is nothing, it is the linear combination of this basis solution. Okay. The linear combination of this basis solutions is called general solution of this ODE, okay, where C1 and C2 are arbitrary constants. Because there, say any, you can take any linear combination. Okay, so this is called a general solution of ODE. So once we have a basis, then we can define the general solution by taking the linear combination, sort of all linear, possible all linear combinations of the basis elements. Okay. Okay, everything clear. In next session, we will see how to solve. Uh, such uh, differential equations or a special type of differential equations differential equation with uh, constant coefficients okay thank you